Millions of years ago, Earth went through a massive disaster. Imagine this, a colossal asteroid raced towards us from the south faster than anything we've ever seen. When it hit, it was like 10 billion atomic bombs going off at once. The whole world turned into an oven for more than 20 minutes. Fires sparked everywhere, burning everything in sight. The ground shook violently, causing earthquakes that might have triggered volcanoes, covering parts of India in molten lava. Then, things went from bad to worse. Thick clouds of dust filled the air, blocking out the sun for up to 15 years. Can you imagine? Everything turned icy cold. It was like the longest winter ever. This catastrophe wiped out a staggering 75% of all life on Earth. But amidst this chaos, some resilient creatures managed to survive. Crocodiles, the ultimate survivors, could go without food for ages. They feasted on whatever dead stuff floated by in the water. Birds with teeth didn't make it, but those with beaks changed their diets to tough stuff like seeds. And our tiny ancestors, the early mammals, found safety in the shadows, hiding from danger to stay alive. Now let's think about ourselves. Imagine if that same asteroid hit us again in the same way. How would we fare? Would we be like those tough survivors, finding a way to keep going? Or would we meet the same fate as the dinosaurs, disappearing forever from the face of the Earth? It's a question worth pondering. In a blink of an eye, Central America and parts of the southern United States vanish in a colossal explosion. Within seconds, a staggering 100 million lives are lost, and the sound alone, it's deadly for anyone within 1,500 kilometers. Just minutes later, earthquakes of unimaginable power shake the Earth, stronger than any ever felt. Massive tsunamis, towering as high as 100 meters, crash onto coastlines, swallowing everything in their path. They flood areas up to 100 kilometers inland, drowning over 3 billion people. Most of the destruction hits the United States, putting hundreds of millions more in danger. For those farther away, the trembling ground is a stark signal. Seek shelter underground before the fiery storm arrives. All over the globe, there are millions of shelters designed for emergencies, with hundreds of thousands tucked away in Switzerland alone. Places like Derinkuyu in Turkey and Nushabad in Iran boast underground cities capable of housing millions. These shelters, along with makeshift ones like mines and subway stations, could potentially save billions of lives from the initial explosion's devastation. Yet, even if these shelters withstand the violent earthquakes, most aren't equipped to sustain people for long periods. After the impact, the sky would rain down fiery debris and acid, making any outdoor activity incredibly dangerous for years. Only a select few advanced bunkers constructed by governments and the wealthy would offer enduring protection. Deep within the Raven Rock Mountain complex in Pennsylvania, managed by the US government, are reportedly three-story buildings, their own water sources, and room for thousands. However, specifics remain shrouded in secrecy from the public. Similar emergency bunkers likely exist in other major nations, suggesting that governments worldwide might manage to keep functioning, at least initially. Meanwhile, rich folks are rushing to New Zealand because they think they can survive there on their own. They're building fancy bunkers filled with enough stuff to last for years. But surviving won't be easy. A huge cloud of dust would block the sun, messing up crops everywhere. With time, food would run out and clean water would be hard to find because of the acid rain. Starvation could become a big problem, maybe even killing off billions of people. But even in these tough times, humans might figure out how to cope. Some could live off fungi, which don't need sunlight and grow well after fires. As the world's climate changes, swinging between super cold and super hot because of all the extra carbon dioxide, people might manage to survive by being clever and tough. They'd have to ration what little they have, scavenge for anything useful, 
and try to grow food wherever they can. Still, life would be nothing like what we're used to. Imagine waking up one day to a world filled with doom and gloom. But what if we saw it coming? Back in September 2022, NASA made a bold move. They sent their DART satellite to smash into a small asteroid 11 million kilometers away. It worked. The asteroid slowed its orbit by a whopping 32 minutes. Pictures from both the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes showed the debris plume, proving we can protect Earth from potential disasters. But not all space rocks are the same. The one NASA aimed at was just a tiny piece compared to the giant that wiped out the dinosaurs. That beast was over 10 kilometers wide, bigger than Mount Everest. Scientists suggest using lasers to gently nudge an asteroid onto a safer path or attaching huge solar sails to steer it away. Luckily, astronomers have spotted all the big asteroids in our solar system, and none are heading our way right now. Even if one did, like from the asteroid belt, we'd have plenty of time to get ready. But what if we missed spotting one? We don't know much about big asteroids from outside our solar system that could sneak up on us fast with little warning. If we had to get ready in a hurry for an asteroid crash, we'd need a backup plan. First off, we'd evacuate folks from the Yucatan Peninsula and nearby areas to keep millions safe from the Big Bang. Then, we'd build tough shelters that could handle falling space rocks and strong quakes. We could make underground cities out of mine tunnels and deep caves, powered by nuclear reactors and featuring vertical farms. And in places like Iceland, we could use geothermal heat, which comes from the Earth's core and doesn't need sunlight. That way, we'd have power until things went back to normal. Around the world, there are more than 20,000 kilometers of subway tunnels. Imagine if we turned them into cities, able to house over a billion people, keeping seeds, animals, data, and important stuff safe would be a must. Vaults all over the place could hold onto these treasures until we know what's next for humanity. But the most crucial thing to protect is water. We could dig deep holes to store tons of water, making sure they're lined with materials that can handle acid and sealed up tight. When it comes to food, we might have to get creative. Algae might not sound yummy, but it's a great backup food. It's super efficient, can grow in dim light, and fits in small spaces. After a few years of getting ready, we might think about one really bold idea, leaving Earth behind. Maybe a small group of people could start a colony on the moon, watching what happens from far away. They wouldn't know if they could ever come back home, but at least they'd be safe. Hit that subscribe button and join our cosmic journey.